Deputy Roshan Shortall, please. Ishak, the report into South Kerry CAMS is truly shocking and so distressing for all of the families concerned. These parents did the right thing and went to South Kerry CAMS to get professional help for their children. Some of them, of course, would have been waiting up to two years to access that service. Instead of helping their children, the service actually harmed them. The treatment of 227 children by a junior doctor who is not named in the report, although he's been named in the media, was deemed risky. 46 children suffered significant harm, including lethargy, distress, raised blood pressure, significant weight gain, and even the production of breast milk. The trauma these children and their families endured is unimaginable. While this junior doctor is prescribing practices, the inappropriate use of combination of drugs, including antipsychotic drugs, were clearly appalling. The damage caused to children would not have been as long-lasting or as extensive he had been, if he had been properly supervised. But he wasn't, of course. The report details a service that was entirely chaotic. There were concerns raised about this doctor in 2018. These concerns were not followed up. In fact, the doctor was recommended for other jobs in 2020. There has been no full-time consultant, child and adolescent psychiatrist in South Kerry CAMS since 2016. There is still no full-time consultant. Taoiseach, this report details endemic problems with South Kerry CAMS, but media reports today suggest a review into North Kerry CAMS is going to be undertaken. I'm sure that many families accessing CAM services across the country have questions now to be answered. It should be noted that there are nearly 3,000 children on CAM's waiting list currently, most of whom have been waiting for more than three months for an appointment. So Taoiseach, my questions are, first of all, what is going to be done to ensure there is accountability for what happened in South Kerry CAMS? Is anyone other than the junior doctor involved going to lose their job or even be formally reprimanded? Secondly, when will a full-time consultant child and adolescent psychiatrist be appointed to South Kerry CAMS? And thirdly, is the government going to authorise a wider inquiry into CAM services around the country to ensure that the care of children is receiving appropriate and uh, restorative, uh, appropriate uh, supervision and uh, resourcing in order to restore public confidence? I thank the deputy um, for raising uh, this profoundly serious issue. Um, I've read uh, the, the executive um, report and the preliminary of it. It is shocking. It is very, very serious and it's unacceptable. And it represents a damning indictment of the service. The first principle of medicine is to do no harm. Children were harmed here. Uh, by a complete failure of clinical performance and oversight and the entire management of the service. Uh, as you have outlined, um, the treatment of 227 children was deemed by the report, which doesn't put any punches, to be fair, to the consultant, um, I think Sean Maskey is his name, from, who came over from the UK. 227 children, uh, the, the treatment was deemed to be risky. Um, 46 children, the report says, were harmed significantly. Um, and, and it goes through um, what that harm means in terms of some children uh, putting on a lot of weight gain, um, sleepy during the day, raised blood pressure, production of, 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 of breast milk and so on. Um, through over prescribing, uh, the lack of oversight. Um, and in my view, it, it demands a, a fundamental review, uh, not just of South Kerry, but of the overall situation pertaining to uh, child and adolescent mental health. It's not a resources issue, to be frank. The resources are there to a point, but there has been, it seems to me, over the years, 
ongoing difficulties in recruiting um, senior clinicians in psychiatry um, for these posts in certain parts of the country and particularly in CAMS. Following the publication of the report, the HSE has apologised uh, and has communicated with all of the parents involved. My understanding is that there's been an extensive look back of 1,300 files and what I've outlined is what is, it comes in terms of the outcome of that. It's very important to say it's not the parents' fault. Uh, a lot of parents are very uh, feeling guilty. I, I watched one uh, woman last evening, one parent last evening on, on the 6-1 News saying that, that she was taking on somebody guilt herself in terms of what had happened. It's, nothing, it's not the parents' fault. They will go by what is you know, uh, indicated or what is advised by the uh, treating clinician. Um, so following the publication of, of the report, uh, there will be a full audit nationwide of compliance with CAMS operational guidelines by all CAMS teams. In addition, a prescribing audit will be conducted in each of the 72 CAMS teams to include a random selection of files proportional to the medical caseload uh, from a continuous six months predefined time period in 2021. Mm -hmm. I am looking, and I've been in discussions with the Minister for uh, <coughs> Health, Mary Butler, uh, of the last 24 hours uh, with a view to seeing what more needs to be done and I have an open mind now in terms of how we pursue Thank you, this. Thank time is up. Deputy Shortall. Uh, thanks Taoiseach. Um, some of the 35 recommendations included, the report, included in the report raise uh, very fundamental questions about whether the service is actually hopelessly deficient. The whistleblower of course here, Dr Ankur Sharma, was a locum consultant psychiatrist appointed in 2020. He has now resigned from the HSE because he says he received no support and was sidelined after he blew the whistle. Again, we have serious questions being raised in our state agencies about the treatment of whistleblowers. This raises, of course, very serious questions for senior management within the HSE and indeed the culture there. So, Minister Taoiseach, I welcome your commitment to a wider inquiry. And uh, I want to ask you to confirm that that wider inquiry will also include an examination of the treatment of the whistleblower in this case, because it's really important that that happens and that we change that kind of culture, which is too often about silencing whistleblowers rather than encouraging whistleblowing in state agencies. Thank you. First of all, I would say that, again, and I'm open to discussions with yourself and others um, in, in relation to the best way forward here. Um, I do have a sense that um, for the last number of years, for over 10 to 15 years, there's been investment in child and adolescent mental health and certain services developed in certain areas, but it has never, from just observing, reached the optimal levels that we would have I think all understood would be the case when we, the, when we started on this road of creating genuine child and adolescent mental health services. Now, there are many good practices across the country, that has to be said too, and there will be many very good practitioners and psychiatrists very, very angry and annoyed uh, with what has transpired here. But you're correct in saying it's not just about one NCHD. There's a systemic collapse here in terms of overall clinical governance and in terms of the overall management of the service. Um, and I think any, and any review has to look end to end at, because questions were raised, even the very fundamental decision itself of saying you would have a NCHD in charge of a community area um, and so on. You know, even that, and the people may have made a call at the time, but even that has to be interrogated uh, in terms of best practice into the future. There's a broader issue around recruitment of qualified personnel generally within the mental health arena, which we know we need to face up to. Time is up. Like it's no longer Please. just about percentages of funding and all that. It's actually getting high quality services in place, um, and that, that's proved challenging in some areas. Thank you, Tisha.